I think for any young storyteller that's looking to figure out how to get involved, there isn't one way. I think if you were to ask 10 filmmakers that have had success in some way, they would probably all have different stories. Some maybe got a PhD from Harvard, some maybe dropped out of college like I did. I think there's a lot of different routes you can take. The one maybe suggestion I would have for whatever it's worth would be to just pick up your iPhone and start filming a story, whether it's a documentary or a narrative that you care about. We have incredible access our generation does to technology and you can, uh, I remember for the MTV show we shot uh, in a hospital on an iPhone and no one has ever once asked if we used a different camera for that scene. So uh, the ability to just go out and make your own movies is incredible and if you're in high school I would encourage you to submit to the All-American High School Film Festival which I've uh, been, I, I founded a few years ago and uh, we now have uh, over 25 countries involved, 48 states. We give over $100,000 in scholarships. It's a great opportunity for them to have their films played on the big screen in, uh, at the AMC theaters in Times Square. There is no excuse, and I mean that in a, in a nice way, obviously, that you can, if you don't have an iPhone, you know, uh, maybe your friend does or, or something, and it just, you know, start shooting, I think, is always the biggest hump, is to just begin. And uh, then, you know, if you have a laptop or a buddy has a laptop, they come with you know, iMovie or, or some sort of editing program. And even if they're not, you know, some ridiculously expensive Avid, they still do the trick. I mean, my first movie, I, I edited off of a um, illegally downloaded uh, Final Cut, like student whatever version, which I probably shouldn't say, but whatever, you know, it's like, so there's no, I, I think in a great way, there's endless opportunities to, to do what you want to do. If I may add, I think something I actually learned from, from Jinx and uh, Malcolm Gladwell as well. It's like kind of the same. Jinx and Malcolm Gladwell. I like that in one Seriously, sentence. I'll no, take that. About the same time in my life, uh, these two people came into my life. And you kind of touched on it, and I, and I want to hear your, your opinion, but it's about doing, right? If you want to succeed in anything, whether it's filmmaking or being a basketball player, whatever it is, if you're going to do it and you're going to get out there and you're going to work hard, you're going to succeed. And it's just a lot of people, they're afraid to start or they're afraid to put in enough hours. They're afraid to, you know, jump out there and expose themselves. You know, they, they're afraid of failure, whatever it might be. And what I learned from Jinx and, and Gladwell, they go together. And, uh, and, and I started doing myself. And what I learned from them is if you're just willing to put in the time and the effort and the energy and make mistakes and learn from those time and time and time again, you're going to succeed eventually.